So how many of you have Facebook accounts? Do you say you're pretty familiar with Facebook and how it works and that kind of stuff? Well, today I'd like to show you how to make it more secure so that not just anybody can see the information you put out there. So I'm sure you've seen this page here where it's just, you know, the basic creation of uh, the things on your page about you, you know, where your current city is, hometown, um, that kind of stuff. Now, if you go to, let's see if I can find it, privacy settings right here. This is what's going to keep things from showing up to just anybody. Now, you see here, <clears throat> you have, this is kind of a easy to do for anybody. Um, they have the sections for everyone. Everyone can see everything, like your status and your photos and your posts. Um, any information you have out there, they can see. So if you, it's on the next page. Um, so here, basically, this is how it's going to start out. You're going to have it set to where, you know, everybody can see everything. So if I'm not your friend, I can look you up and say, oh, I see this information. I see your phone number. I see your, you know, any information you put out there. Um, friends of friends, this limits it. Um, you see these bullets here have moved automatically. You don't have to do it yourself. Um, so your friends of friends can see this information. And friends only can see more the more private information, like contact information, that kind of stuff. Um, friends only, that limits everything to just your friends. So even your friends of friends can't see that information. Um, so I have it set to friends only because I don't want to share all my information with just anybody. Um, <clears throat> there's also recommended where it nicely does this for you. you know, it shows um, your status and photos and posts and um, family and relations, that kind of thing to everybody. Um, and then, so I have mine set this way. The next step you would want to take is, <clears throat> let's see what I have here. Uh, customize settings down here. Um, you click that and it goes into more detail. So even though the previous section set everything that friends of friends and your friends and everyone can see, you can even go in here um, and say you don't want everyone to see your posts. So you check, hit that, it comes down with even more options. And what you can do here is the same thing you could do before. Well, there's also a customize, and it lets you, you know, specific people. If you have someone who's annoying you and you don't want them to see everything, or someone in your family that you don't want to see, you know, have them see all your posts that you put out there. There's specific people, and you type in their names down here. Um, so there's that for a bunch of information you have on Facebook. So your family, your relations, interests, um, <clears throat> that kind of thing. Down here is a more generalized um, section. So you have photos and videos that you're tagged in. Um, allowing, here's what's, what I like, allow certain people to comment on your posts. So you can have this also set to custom, you know, and, and only have certain people able to comment on your posts <clears throat> or your comments. Um, also allowing friends to, to post on your wall, that kind of stuff. Um, down here, is the most private information you can put out there. Um, your mobile phone number, other phone, that kind of stuff. Um, for me, I don't have my mobile phone out there because I don't want just anybody talking to me on my phone. <laughs> um, who all has a phone in here? Mobile phone, cell phone. OK, most of you. All right, so I assume you text and phone, you know, call people and that kind of stuff. Um, if you have this shown and you are friends with someone just to chat with them once in a while, this information could be shown. Um, so if you don't want them to text you or your mom and dad don't want you to text too much, um, you can have this limited to only you know, certain people and that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> the cool thing about this is you can set it up. It doesn't apply until you um, go back to, you know, go back. But you can also preview your profile. 
So what this does is it allows you to go and see, this is all the information that you're going to be able to see if you try to look me up. So it shows my name, it shows that I'm a male and I, my network is Eastern Illinois University, um, and here's how you can access my page. What you can also do is go in here and type any person's name, um, and it'll show you what your page will look to them with all the settings that you just put in. So for instance, I can look up uh, my mom and see, okay, well she can see all this information on my page. So if there's something in there that you don't want them to see, um, you go back to privacy settings and then you play around with it. It takes you back to the first page. So you'd want to go back to um, customize settings and then play around with that some more. Um, <clears throat> so that should keep information um, private to you that you want to keep you know, to yourself. Um, uh, basically that's um, also um, some pointers, some security pointers. Um, things you do and don't want to do uh, for future, um, such as uh, photos and that kind of thing, like information, like mobile and phone, that kind of stuff. That's not necessarily a good thing to put on your page um, for just anybody to see, because there are people out there that will, you know, try to find people and you know do bad things and contact you, and um, you've probably heard things of that sort. Um, <clears throat> so address is also something for me. Um, if I want you to know, you know, where I live and my number and you know and how to contact me and that kind of thing, I don't do that through Facebook. Um, this is just something that I keep in contact, you know, touch base with people, see how their, you know, how their life is going, that kind of thing. Um, if I wanted to talk to them or have them talk to me, I would give them my information. So that's just a security thing um, to keep you safe um, and to keep, you know, potential predators or, you know, that kind of thing out keep them at bay. Um, <clears throat> that's also true with address and, and that kind of thing. Um, uh, that way um, you're safe, your parents know you're safe, and things are good. Um, does anybody have any questions so far? No questions at all? Okay. Yes? If someone hacks your Facebook, how would you know? Good question. Um, for instance, my brother, he is 14, Fif no, he's 15. He went to, something else you shouldn't do, he went to the Verizon corporate store in Champaign and got on one of their droid phones and logged into his Facebook account. And then he closed the page. Well, when you close the page, it doesn't log you out. So like you're saying, someone else can go up right behind you, get into your page and change things. So what you want to look for um, is any weird status changes, any weird information um, such as about yourself or um, maybe any posts that you've made recently that you don't know about. Um, if that happens, the first thing you want to do is change your password. So immediately change your password um, and if it stops, then you should be good. If it doesn't stop, there should be a way to contact Facebook I'm trying to find it now. I think I have to go home to see it. <clears throat> Maybe not. I have so many posts. It's not even funny. Come on. Um, I can't find it right now. But there should be a way to, maybe under about, to contact Facebook um, to let them know that your account has been compromised. Um, and they should be able to help you out. Funny story, um, Mark Zuckerberg, the guy who created this, this website, um, he recently has discovered a Facebook stalker. So that tells you that even the creator of this web page is not safe from you know, just anybody trying to get a hold of them um, or doing things, you know, stalking them and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so that's a very good question. I'm not sure. I've found it before for someone else, um, but I'm not sure exactly where to look for that. Um, but there is a way to get that information out there for Facebook to let them know that, you know, something's happened to your account and you need it, you need help. 
Um, <clears throat> let's see. Does anybody else have any questions before I move on? No? OK. Um, let's see. Do you guys know what IM stands for? You do? What does it stand for? Good job. Do you know any kinds of instant messaging programs that you can use? Uh, Windows Live Messenger. Mm-hmm. AOL. Mm-hmm. Skype. Mm-hmm. Do you have some more? Uh, I think Yahoo. Yep. Yeah. Yep, Yahoo. Um, they've also have Facebook chat, so that's another form of, of instant messaging. Um, the reason why you want to keep that to yourself um, is because anybody can get a hold of it, and they can actually, if they try hard enough, they could probably get into your computer um, remotely, and then that's entering a whole bunch of other problems. Because um, then once they get in there, they can get any information from your computer that they want to. Um, so that's another reason why you should, it's advised to keep that private so that no one can actually get to your account, get to you personally, you know, do bad things to you. Um, do you guys have any questions about Facebook at all, like functionality or how to upload pictures or what not to do or nothing at all? Okay. Um, let's see. Yes. Yep. Um, do they have Facebooks? Maybe you can check out and see. See what their page their looks account. like? See if I can get into the See. Let's see. Anybody want to volunteer their name? Okay, what's your name? Douglas Bang. Uh, like that? Yeah. Okay. B A I N. Like that? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's just do this. Now, that's not you, is it? Doesn't look like you, no? Just a little older. Uh, let's see. We'll do that. Where are you from? Uh, Altamont. Altamont, okay. Uh, there should be a way to search all. <clears throat> They've changed Facebook so much. 